hindi po kami financial guru at hindi po kami mayaman. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, isha-share ko po sa inyo ang money management system namin mag-asawa. Disclaimer, hindi po kami financial guru at hindi po kami mayaman. Inaral at in po namin ang system na ito and by the grace of God, it works for us. Medyo konting stress lang po sa financial <laughs> Seriously, this system works for us well. So, sana po ay ma-apply nyo rin ito at maging parte ng inyong new normal. So, ano po ba ang 10, 20, 5, 15, 50 budget rule? Ito po ay monthly income less tights na 10%, less investment na 20%, emergency fund na 5%, at savings na 15% equals expenses na 50%. I-explain ko po ang bawat isa. Tights, 10%. In Hebrew, the word tight literally means tent. So 10% of your gross income given to your church. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. So isang Bibliyang paraan ng pagsasabi na dapat magbigay muna ng 10% bago ka gumawa ng anumang bagay sa iyong pera. Why tithe? The Bible tells us that tithing is a way to show that we trust God with our lives and our finances. Tithing is an act of faith that helps us keep our priorities straight. Pinapaalala nito sa atin na wala tayong pag-aari sa buhay na ito. God is in control and we are only managers of what He has given us. Ang tithing ay hindi tungkol sa pera. It's about the heart. It's living with the attitude that we are blessed to be a blessing. Ito ay nangangahulugan na ikaw ay masunurin sa Diyos. Kaya dapat kang magbigay ng hindi umaasa na may kapalit. Twenty percent of your monthly income ay para sa investment. An investment is a purchased item or asset that a buyer can identify as something that would appreciate its value in the future and can be sold at a higher price. Maaari itong matingnan bilang isang pag-aari na maaaring pagganahin na makabuo ng passive income at lumikha ng yaman sa paglipas ng panahon. Or retirement fund mo. Ano-ano ba ang types of investment? Ito yung mutual fund, bonds, stocks, money market, at fully paid na insurance. Five percent of your gross monthly income ay para sa emergency fund. At least six months of your living expenses ang amount na kailangan mong buuin para sa fund na ito. If mawalan ka ng trabaho, meron kang magagamit while applying for a new job. Dito mo kukunin ang pondong iyon. Kung nabawasan na ang pondong ito, make sure to replenish it at buuin muli yung at least 6 months of your living expenses or more pa. of your monthly gross income ay para sa savings. Ano nga ba ang savings? Ito yung income not spent. Ito yung pera na inilagay mo para sa paggamit sa hinaharap kaysa paggastos ka agad. Ito din yung intentional act of setting money aside for a specific goal or purpose. So if you have travel goals, if you are planning to buy a new appliances sa bahay, dito mo yun kukunin. Music 
the remaining 50% ay of course para sa expenses. So, ito na yung pondo para sa basic needs, para sa monthly payment mo ng inyong insurance if hindi ka patapos to pay for it. And, of course, for the bills because Judith is coming. <laughs> so, tips po. Whenever po napupunta kayo sa grocery, make sure to bring a grocery list para maiwasan ang pagbili ng wala sa listahan. Buy in bulk or in bigger packs din po para malaki yung masisave. Every time na bilhin ka, always ask yourself, need ba ito or want? Para po maiwasan natin ang mga unnecessary expenses. Okay naman din po to reward ourselves pa minsan-minsan, pero minsan lang dapat ha, hindi araw-araw. Iwasan din po muna natin ang installment payments kahit na zero interest pa yan. Remember po doon sa previous video po na discuss po natin na if you can't pay it in cash, you can't afford it. Record and monitor your cash flow. You can create an Excel file for this or may mga finance app available dyan sa internet. Have a monitoring of your cash flow regularly para alam mo kung saan napupunta ang pera or bakit lumalaki ang mga expenses mo. So, ang money management system po namin ay monthly income, less tithes, less investment, less emergency fund, less savings equals expenses plus record and monitor your cash flow. Being able to effectively manage your money will make life flow much more smoothly, not to mention help lower your stress levels. Being well organized will also save your time and save your potential headaches in the future. Basta po magsumikap sa buhay na walang natatapakang ibang tao, laging manalangin at pagpasalamat sa Diyos. Sana po ay may natutunan kayo sa video ito. So please like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. Until next time, bye!